Remix, reboots, and re-adaptations. Today we're going to talk about the old ones, the new ones, and ones we'd like to make ourselves. Welcome to the movies. Aye. Welcome back. We both had kids, so it's been a while since we've done the video. Yep. So reboots, yeah. Some are good. Most are bad. I think I'll disagree with you. Today we're going to be talking about films that have already came out remake wise, ones that are probably going to be coming out soon, and ones that we wouldn't mind actually seeing being remade. For me, the best remake... Is it for both of us here? Are we both no, this is me, this is what I think oh. is the best remake of all time, is The Thing, the John Carpenter one. I think I agree with you, because yeah. I haven't seen the original, nah, but right. the, the remake is... So there not been three remakes now? Which there, remake no, are you There was a prequel. Oh, that's right, but yeah. it's... There was the original? And Which was based on the book, or the wee novelette, or like a short story called Who Goes There? Yes. It was based on that, a bunch of blokes in Antarctica, but it was okay. like this plant creature. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and then John Carpenter remade that. I've seen that one. I haven't seen the, the prequel. The original. No, the prequel. No, the or prequel. The I haven't seen no. the original or the prequel. See, the prequel had a good concept because it was based on the place in Antarctica that Same place the other base. The was it different base? The other base, you know the base that the dog came from yes. at the beginning, and yes. then they go back to it. And you see the guy with his yes. fucking throat slit, and he's got his arm like yes. his wrist yes. sitting yes. all. Yeah, it's all about that. Okay. Base. All right. And it could have been really good because the story and all was there, but they went for CGI effects. You told me about this, I think. And that just ruined the film for me because it looks pathetic. Because they all did practical effects for it, like they had a yeah. practical effects team in. And there was like a footage that so was released really years later. Did they do all of it? They did loads of practical effects did for it. Did they look good? Like they look great. Better than the... Like no, they look like on par with the original oh, right, film. Yeah. I think they used like... like they weren't what, any worse. What was it, like toothpaste and plastic and... Oh, fuck, I can't remember. It was all sorts of shit I think used. it was like chewing gum toothpaste. I think I remember watching a video. It was like chewing gum toothpaste but, yeah, and then the, just all melted. The uh, film company decided, nah, we want to go CGI because it's a big thing. And then it was fucking awful looking. You can only... it CGI, like I know it's not... We're not doing a video about CGI, but it's something... <laughs> It's good. Uh, if it's but, done well. Yeah, like... Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. That's another remake. That's great. My favourite. And you know the answer. I don't actually. I'm completely shocked today. Really? My mind's boggled. This is what parenthood does to you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm... I'm not going to fuck you. <laughs> you're still... You're a young fatter. Young fatter? You're two weeks ahead of me. Yeah. Young fatter. <laughs> right. Cool. Right. Um, it. Oh, yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Which I think is again, more class as a re-adaptation than a remake. You've told me, yeah. Yeah. Well, personally, like for re like remake overall, I think it's remake. Would you class it as the overall term or? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just picky. <laughs> crushing your stuff behind me. Oh, that's fine. But yes, um, it would probably be one of my favorites because it's a grid. I love the original, like the original 1990s team, yeah. miniseries. Because it scared the shit out of me and made me scared of clowns. Don't know why. Because I was a child. I was a lot younger than you when I. it came out. Though. I watched it when it came out. What year did it come out? Oh, yeah, fuck. No. Wait, yeah. I watched it when I was like six. Yeah, I was still really young when it came out. Shut up, it came out in the 90s. I was born in 92. Right. Shush. <laughs> I was a pussy. You are still a pussy. <laughs> but no, yeah, the it remake or re-adaptation, whatever you want to call it, is fucking great. Yeah. So it is, it it's, is it's a lot better because it adds a lot more in from the story. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's different because it's based in the 80s rather than the... 50s, yeah. but if they want to make the second film nowadays, they have to do that. One thing I'm wondering about for the second one is how your phone's going to be, because it's going to be 2016. How your phone's going to be, like, is it going to be like this place has phones? Well, they're obviously not going to like be calling authorities and stuff on it. They know what it is and they know nobody else is going to listen to them. Yeah, but like news spread and stuff, like, do you know what I mean? Like, Well, yeah, they could probably work that into the story, like, Or will it be like this place has or... never aged? That would be pretty cool. Uh, a town that's never... A town that's like never, never aged. moved at the times. So. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what they do with it. So. Yeah. It will be good. Yeah. Plus, the whole cast is coming back as well. Like, the young uh, cast. young cast for flashbacks and shit. Yeah. It's hard to think. You see, it is it's hard, hard to think of good remakes. Do you know what I thought was quite good? And this is coming from someone who loves the original franchise. Was the Friday the 13th remake. Oh. It was a good slasher remake so it was yeah. it was fun stoner kind of comedy and shit like kind of oh is there comedy well. in it okay. oh yeah, well they yeah, kind of have to because you can't really take slasher films seriously especially ones with a dude with a hockey mask or not about killing people yeah yeah so it was i found it fun and good and the the gore was there and shit is it the same story 
It's like the first four films put into one movie. How could you do that? Like, easily? Oh, is the first mm -hmm. four films based at all in the camp? Not really. No. It's like. See, yeah, this is coming from someone right. who's never really been in the, the Friday first the film on Friday the 13th. Jason is an in. Yes, he shows up at the very end. But then that's a dream. Yeah. So that is Jason's mom in the first one. Yes. That's the opening credits of the remake. You see the mom getting decapitated. Oh. By uh, yeah, no, oh. by a counselor. And then you see Jason coming out of the woods and picking up the machete. And then it goes okay. nowadays. And there's this group of kids that go out in the, the woods. So do, blah okay. blah blah, they're looking for weed. <laughs> they stumble across Jason, they all get fucking killed, one of them gets kidnapped. Okay. And then it cuts to another group of kids that are just going to this cabin in the woods. Is it all in the same woods? I think so, yeah. But different... Just all different... Just different areas, massive thing. or...? Yeah, well it's like, the first one's like maybe 23 years apart. And uh, then okay. it jumps to the first group of kids. Okay. And then it's like four weeks apart. So okay. it is, yeah. And then it's Sam's sister that goes missing from the first group. That he comes and... Yeah, so he meets up with the second group. Yeah. And then the girl, one of the girls kind of tries to help him out. And her boyfriend's the guy that owns the cabin. He's a red dickhead. Okay. And shit. He likes to... He ends up getting with the girl, doesn't he? The, Which girl? The one that whose boyfriend was a dickhead? Kind of. Not ah. really. They don't really do anything. Oh, like not? No. Uh, the, the boyfriend actually cheats on the other girl with this other chick. Oh, alright. Yeah. I'm guessing he dies. Of course. Yeah. yeah. I'm guessing Sam survives. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. But it's good. It's hard. It's, see, it's not hard to like... Yeah. But that's like the first four films because in the second film and the third film it's just kind of generally getting killed but the fourth film is about a brother who's going to find his yeah. sister who was from one of the previous films. Yeah. So they just all rolled out story into one big kind that's of story. That's the, it actually doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, it's good. So it is. And then, at, so at the same time, Jensen Nichols, Sam, or Dean even, from Supernatural made yeah. My Bloody Valentine. He's 3D. the bad guy in it, isn't he? He's the bad guy, yeah. yeah. But uh, throughout the film, you don't know that, because he's... Like, oh, so you don't even know it's Jensen Nichols? That's, you don't know that he's the bad guy. Oh, is he Because he's got like a... a split personality type thing going on. Split. Yeah. <laughs> but... It was okay. It was funny and stupid, and the fact that they threw the 3D thing on it kind of made it annoying. Was that not the, during that time? Was yeah, that not, like, it was the a time where thing? like was... Final Destination 3D, 3D and shit. And <sighs> so yeah, those were two remakes that were interesting. Friday the 13th is good. My Bloody Valentine, not really, but still sort of good because it had gems. It was Michael's fun, in. just so it was like it's silly and fun to watch. Like you could watch it again. I would have uh, stick it on like Halloween or something, you know, with a beer on, and you just stick it on in the background while you're having a drink. Yeah. Speaking of Halloween, I know we're like not talking about the new, like, because it's not a remake, but. Well, there is a remake. It's not a remake, though. But there is a remake. Oh, there is remakes, okay, yeah. but they're, all, they're not awful. <laughs> I'd, I like the first Rob Zombie remake of Halloween. Okay. So the, the second one was self indulgent shit. Self indulgent shit. I don't know yeah, what you mean by that. awful, because he was just going awful one, like, he's like, I'm just going to make this really artsy. And I watch it like, well, that was fucking yeah. shit. But then there's also <laughs> a new one coming out with, which is it's... ignoring the entire franchise apart from the first one. Yeah, which which I looks like quite good because I like the idea of the girl from the original one coming back and all. Jimmy Lee Curtis. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, she's, she's ready to die for, for me. Fucking... She's like ready to freaking yeah. annihilate them. That's it's not a remake, but there's a lot of moments that look like references, the sort of film. like yeah, yeah. I am looking forward to that. It looks really good. I was because uh, I was going to mention it to you before we started filming. But, yeah, yeah. yeah fucking. Because I was wasn't sure whether you would like it or not. Because it's hard. I like the Rob Zombie one, and I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to this one because Danny McBride seems like somebody because he's producing it. Mm -hmm. Seems like he'd have his head screwed on what he kind of want. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he would fuck up the franchise. Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh. Don't talk to me about the fucking remake of Nightmare on Elm Street. I liked it. It was I liked awful. It. I liked it. No, it's fucking awful. The only good thing about it was the little backstory they give Freddy. You know the way they showed him back when he was a pedo? Oh, at yes, the nursery? yes. I thought that was pretty cool. Because in the original franchise, they only ever alluded to him being like a pedophile and shit. They showed his backstory, but never to be in a pedophile. An extent, yeah. They never really got into the gritty. Because they that it's not sure how he became Freddy when he. The children getting burnt. Like it was. I think that it was, was the first. Was it Jason. the first one? No, the first one they ignore him completely. They just. It's just sort of. A thing. You're told that he killed a bunch of kids. But it not turn out that the parents of the yeah, they, first they're one they're are the ones who burned, burned him. him. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I the remake. I remember going to the cinema set. And I they just did the out. first film again, worse. 
That's all it was. It was just they did remake the film. Just everything was a hundred times I'm not worse. Gonna lie, I liked it. No, it's I fun. didn't like it as much. See, as you. don't know what the fucking turning point for oh, me was. You really? Yeah, this is like a. <laughs> <laughs> it was the scene where he comes out of the wall. Okay. See, in the original film, they got like these I'm fucking spandex that they did. And oh, put it across, yes. and the and guy he pushed forward like that. Did they CGI? And it looks fucking one? awesome. Yeah. In the remake, it's just this big CGI fucking cartoon popping out of the wall <laughs> of his stupid fucking claws going blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I was just watching it there, and I was just sitting going, this is fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why CGI that? It that was so much more effective. And it's easy. It sounds very yeah. easy to do, just like, push it forward. Like, that's what a lot of like, even, like, and, yeah. I think it. even nowadays movies have to have, like, that sort of scene. Yeah, yeah it it's really exit. effective. Because I think they use it in community as well at one point in the night. Probably. <laughs> but yeah, no. Fuck the remake. <laughs> I liked fuck it. Fuck the remake. No. I can't remember how it ended. Did it end exactly the same way? I can't remember, but I remember like in the first Nightmare on Elm Street, they actually made Freddy Krueger more of a menacing type character. But then He wasn't doing like, jokes all the yeah, time. Yeah, the second and onwards. Was like, yeah, that's how they get more whittical. Ah. Wittic- no, that's not the right word. Whimsical. <laughs> whimsical, thank ah, you. He would start think, cracking jokes and shit all the yeah. time, but... In that there one, he was cracking jokes every fucking second. And that fucking, the bedroom scene as well, it was done so much better. In the original? Yeah. Is that the one where she's like dragged up the wall? No, uh, because yeah. in the original they had like the rotating room. Oh, so is that how they did it? That's how they filmed it. Sounds like some Inception shit. <laughs> that's basically the way they filmed Inception yeah. as well, yeah. But with that there, it was her obviously getting ripped to shreds and yeah. some weird shit. And it looks so much better. I never thought she was going to die when I watched the original. Really? I think she, she seemed like the main, main character. character. Yeah. Ah, because that's how the movie starts with her. Yeah. At the end, it was like misdirection. Should have done the same thing in Scream. I've never seen Scream. You've never, never seen, seen Scream? It. Don't like Scream. What? What do you mean? You've never seen it? How do you not like it? Because I've seen Scary Movie and it sort of made Scream seem shit. It's not the same thing. <laughs> I've never seen Scream. Oh. <laughs> but then Scary Movie kind of ruins the, st- or the story of Scream. It doesn't ruin the story because Scream's so much better. Oh yeah, of course, but I've just never had to, like, I've never... Watch it. Watch the first one at least. No. It's the all best right, one. Alright, Watch it. <laughs> alright, I'll think about it. <laughs> no, fucking watch it. <laughs> I've just never seen Scream. You know I'm not big into my horror. So I know that, but fuck me. <laughs> just never appealed to me so it didn't it's great it's actually probably one of my favorite slasher films i think singy's in it as well isn't she who? the girl who's in halloween the mm. one who's you said her name the old she's the old lady Jamie in the Lee Curtis? yeah i don't think so no no definitely not oh uh, wait that's that freaking tv show scream girls Oh, Screen Queens. Screen Queens. That's uh, nothing to do with Screen... No. What is that? Is it, That's it's, its own thing. That was but is it one. something to do with it in a sense of the name? Or is it just something called no, Screen Queens? No, Screen Queens is what you called girls like Jim Lee Curtis and all back in the day. You know, the girls that were in horror films? Oh. Uh, they were called Screen Queens because they fucking scream a lot. Did she scream a lot? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I thought that was something to do with Scream. See, that's the, how much I know about Scream. There was a Scream TV series that came out around about the same time as that Scream Queens. Yeah. And the Scream TV series was really fucking good. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Is it based on the start of the, like, the same... It's based on the same concept. See, the one problem is, if you're following the same concept, like... But it's good the way like, you Like, what do. I know about Scream is, you don't think... You think someone else is the bad guy, but then it turns out to be your boyfriend in the end. Is it not? Yeah. Yeah, because it does the same. Scary movie just copied it. Yeah, like, but yeah. the film's still good. Like, everything leading up to that point is still really good. Doesn't it kind of ruin it for me now I watch it? Because I'm just sitting there like. I no, because then you can notice certain things. Yeah. Fair Probably. enough, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Like, that's like saying, like, one film you really like that has a twist ending. That's like not watching it again because you know how it's going to end. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> like, we're all, we went way, <laughs> way, way off. Tans- that was you fucking mentioning shit like that. I'm saying you didn't know Scream. I know what Scream is. I've just never seen Scream. Uh, uh, you don't know what it is. <laughs> you don't know, man. You weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> Another slasher film that got remade, which I wasn't impressed with. I was at the time, but not anymore after watching it again when I got a bit older. Was the Texas Chainsaw, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. I've never seen it. <laughs> I'm going to... Fucking make you watch some of these films, though. Honestly, right? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas. I know what Texas Chainsaw Massacre is. Yeah, the first case. one's really fucking gritty and shit. Yeah. And then they remade it. It was Michael Bay's fucking production company, Platinum Dunes. Expansions they're just the same people that made the fucking Nightmare on Elm Street one. Okay. Yeah. No, they're just people that make bad films. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> but yeah, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They did a remake. It wasn't great. They kind of just 
use the exact same story again and didn't add anything worthwhile to it. Yeah, and then there's the Leatherface movies. Is there not? Or is there a Leatherface movie? There's a Leatherface. Well, there's Texas Chains of Massacre 3, which was Leatherface. It was called Leatherface Texas Chains of Massacre 3. Okay. And it was basically a remake of the first one. And then they brought out Leatherface, which was meant to be him as a kid. So it's a prequel? Yeah, yeah, but it's shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all I need to know. <laughs> but they made the remake of Texas Chains of Massacre, and then they made a sequel to the remake. No, they made a prequel to the remake that happened just before, like, the remake. The remake. Oh. Okay. It was crap as well. Okay. Yeah, so that was another shit one. Yeah. It went off the good, because, yeah. you see, uh-huh. whenever I said at the start, <laughs> there isn't that many Jason. good remakes. Huh? Jason? Is there not? No, there's no remakes to Jason. It's all just an ongoing story, isn't no, it? No, so Friday the 13th. Would you class it as, like, but how many are... Oh, wait, it's yeah. a remake? See, I think, I don't know why, I always, like, I'm sure some people do the same, where they p- take those two as two for different things, because some of them are called Friday the 13th, and then there's, like, Jason... There's Jason X, and Jason Goes to Hell. And Jason Goes to Chicago, or Jason Visits Chicago. <laughs> it's not... What? Is there not... Is there not there's, Jason Visits Chicago? I'm pretty, or is it Seattle? I would have loved there to be Jason Visits Chicago. I'm pretty sure it was a Jason movie, takes on, Jason Takes on Chicago, or some shit like that. Jason Takes Manhattan. Jason Visits Chicago. Jason Goes to the Windy City. No. I know what the worst part is. Most of the time he's on a fucking boat. Okay. It's only like the last 20 minutes that he's in Manhattan. Oh. I think we should, that you should get me to watch horrors and you should watch rom com for me. Oh, should I? <laughs> First, you're fucking t- saying you're gonna pull me off, and then you're like, oh, what rom com? They didn't. We didn't record me saying I'm gonna pull Earlier you off. Earlier, he said he was gonna pull me off. <laughs> his hairdo and his hairstyle, like, if I was wearing your glasses and stuff right now, then it would make sense. But all right, I'm not gonna pull you off. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're not. What else is there on remake wise? Oh, there's loads of remakes. Oh no, I'm um, trying to fucking think of them. Footless. Foot, you said that really weird. Hmm? You said, or you said Footless really weird there. Dun, or, do, dun, do, dun, do, dun, do. No, I refuse to watch a remake of Footless. You haven't even seen it? Nope. I refuse to watch it because it looks dog shit. It is dog shit, but you still, like, still... <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not going to put myself through it. <laughs> do you like the original? Yeah, I actually yeah. really like the original. It's weird that I do enjoy it, but... I enjoy it as well. It's yeah. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not fucking putting myself through <laughs> the remake. I'm trying to think who's even in it, but there's no one famous in it. Oh, it's, it just looks cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Properly cheap. The Omen. It's been remade, hasn't it? Oh, the Omen remake was fucking cheap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this should make a meme about it. <laughs> it's like there's a new Fantastic Four movie. Oh, it's fucking shit. <laughs> the Omen was fucking shit. I remember sneaking I in to see The Omen nice. on the 6th of the 6th, 2006. <laughs> Is that when it came out? I was the second year, I'm pretty sure. But Not yeah, no, The Omen, like, it was almost like they seem to try and go shot for shot nearly like some of the things they say in doing that film. You're gonna hate what I say now, aren't you? What are you, you gonna say? I've never seen The Omen. <laughs> I know what the omen is. I know the story. It's a kid. You need education. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. <laughs> you I'm, me so but much. I see. I understand. I like. I know what most of these movies are. I know the characters behind them because I haven't seen most. I haven't seen most what of. What do you call a kid in the omen? I don't know why, but Danny's coming to mind. No, that's the kid from Shining, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. Do you mean? Damien, yes. Yeah. You see, that's like the one thing everybody knows and you don't know it. You know what I don't really like? American remakes of foreign films. You've said this to me before. Because I think the only one that really got big was The Ring. It was like a big horror film back in the early 2000s. It was quite good. The, the remake it was it? decent. Yeah. So with an anime Watson, I'm pretty sure. I think the, re- the original is creepier. Still, but then that's because it's Japanese and yeah. everything creepy that's Japanese. But because that was so successful, they're like every fucking Japanese horror film. Let's just remake it, remake it, remake it. And most of them are shit. Have they made loads of remakes of it? I know like they made... the Grudge, Dark Water, Shutter. Is the, I always thought the Grudge was just another Ring movie. No, I've never seen that's the because it's so. a certain, er, it's a certain type of like ghost in Japan. Oh, it's so a legit. Is it not the one they take the piss out of in Cabin in the Woods? No. 
Captain Lloyd. Oh yeah, it yeah. turns into a frog or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah is yeah. it like a grudge tiled? Yeah, it's, it's like that kind of like sort of demon ghost type thing. Would you class Captain Lloyd as a remake? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, technically, the tangent it's going for is every other it's horror movie. It's not a remake, though. It's like it's a it's satire tra- almost. Wicker Man. The Wicker. Fuck yeah. me, the Wicker yeah. Man. That's fucking shit. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> The original's great, because I, I watched the original after watching oh, yeah? Nicolas Cage. The only thing that makes, like, it's not even for the goodness of the movie, it's Nicolas Cage when he's getting the bees. Yeah. He's like, ah! Oh, ah! Yes. <laughs> and then he's just up in the Wicker Man. Ah! Yeah. Shall we move on to the new ones that are coming out? And, well... And what about the fact that Disney have been remaking yeah, all could, their cartoon yeah. films? So, where did it begin? What started, started with, like, was it Beauty and the Cinderella. It was Cinderella, yeah. Cinderella, then Jungle Book, I think. Yeah. And then Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I have not seen Cinderella. Nearby. Seen Jungle Book, it's fucking great. It was a great film. Yeah. I didn't watch Beauty and the Beast. No, I've heard it's not bad, though. And then they're doing Lion King, they're doing Dumbo. They're doing Mer- Little Mermaid. They're doing everything, they're doing Pinocchio. And then you could keep naming them, to be honest. Yeah. Could, is it bad to think the most didn't need, like Frozen? Frozen's great. It is great. Frozen's great. I remember being fucking roped in to go and see Frozen. And you were like, ah, like, ah fucking. I didn't even know what it was. Yeah. So then I was like, what the fuck is this shit gonna be? And Did I went, I seen the picture of it, and I was like, going in the symbol, I was like, is this what we're gonna see? I was like, yeah, I was like, fuck's sick. And then you came And then there's like kids all around me, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then I was sitting watching it there, and then, that, you know, that fucking twist where I you just, find out your man's the bad guy? I just felt like going, cunt! There's probably more we can come up with, but... I was thinking about them all. Journey to the Center of the Earth. I like the remake of it. Yeah. I like the original more, because it's way darker. The duck. <laughs> the duck. <laughs> also, like, every time I bring that movie up to you, I'm like, the duck. I know. Gertrude. Fucking... Gertrude. Brendan Fraser did a really bad fucking choice. Because he chose not to do Journey 2. The one with the rock in it. Yeah. He chose not to do it because he thought he had made good... Work decisions doing Fury Vengeance or whatever. Were they at the same time? Was. Yeah. I'm stupid. And Journey got way better with reviews and I haven't even seen the second one. It's good. Is it good? Yeah. I know it's like the same characters, like bar him, isn't it? Uh, the Rock. And then Michael Caine's in it as well. Yeah. That's uh it's meant to be Brendan Fraser's dad. Yes. I think, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> It's his, it's the kid's granddad. Yeah. yeah. There's loads, but I can't I don't know if I'm thinking of them all. Because there is so many. Mm-hmm. It's hard to think of them. I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I talk to you about these things? You don't know half of the fucking movies. I have seen a lot of movies that you haven't seen, so... Hey, most of them are shit. Yeah, but still. <laughs> That's why I, I give you that them. knowledge. <laughs> I give you that knowledge, Darren. You watch the films that are shit, so I don't have to, it seems like. Yeah. Like The Notebook. Fuck The Notebook. Have I've seen, seen it. it. Oh, you've seen The Notebook? Of course, everybody has had to watch The Notebook at some point. I only watched watch. The Notebook for the first time with Michelle. <laughs> I have not seen the notebook up until that point. And then she's like, Can we watch the notebook? And who I was the like, fuck one who goes out of the way to watch the notebook? Girls. A lot women. of girls. Fucking women. Like, don't maybe please. you don't have that trouble, but I don't. I think if I went to stick the notebook on Liz and go, Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> That's the same if like because like people say it's the perfect movie to like Excuse my language, but get into your girl's pants. Like that's what people have like always said to me over the years. But I don't think so. Oh. I feel like, like you said, if you if a guy went to put the notebook on, the girl would be like, "Are you gay?" Yeah. <laughs> you might as well stick fucking broke back mountain on or some shit. Never seen it. <laughs> Never. Mind. Uh, I know what the story is. I know. I know that Hathaway gets her bops out on. That's what. It is. You want to watch <laughs> broke back mountain? <laughs> no. <laughs> I know it's about. I remember years ago though, my uncle said to like, me and my dad and all, who were the worst people to say anything to, he was like, I watched that book about Mark night. It's alright. It was like, You got tortured for fucking years. Yeah, I'm sure he probably. If he I, was like, I think he was like, what? Well, I was like, I should do a theme party. It's like, I bet you want to do a fucking cowboy theme party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um. Just fucking looking for your beer bottle. I was like, have you got fucking shoved up there? <laughs> there probably is so many more movies that we cannot think of right now. Loads of remakes There's loads, and all, but, yeah. but if we wanted to talk about them all, we'd be here for fucking hours. Hours and hours. hours. I got time. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Not to talk about remakes anyway. Yeah. But, um. So we're, we're going to move on. Yeah. We're going to move on and talk about ones that we actually think would be good as remakes. You go first. 
Because I think I disagree with you. On all of them? <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> right. The Wizard of Oz. They did, like, the prequel to Wizard of Oz. No, I mean remaking, literally, Dorothy, the Wizard of Oz. Like, yeah. the original. And, like I said, have Tim Burton make... But then you've said you don't like Tim Burton. I don't like, like Tim, Burton. Tim Burton. I don't like him making kids' films, I think. Or, like, yeah. I don't like him doing that, because it would just turn into another Alice in Wonderland. That's fair. Okay. Um, someone else directing it. But, yes. um... <laughs> I don't know how, it, like, it would be, I, see, I don't know whether, would you remake it exactly, or would you do, like, it's done, and re like, re Do a like, re-adaptation. Yeah, because it is a book originally yeah. as well, so. I think it would be more interesting, like, if they it, took nowadays, it a different way. Like, nowadays style, yeah, or? that would be pretty cool. Like, with stones like, and stuff? I like, can you imagine fucking Dorothy? She'd barely be one of those wee teenage cunts that you get run about these time. She'd be, oh my god, I can't get signal here. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so tiny. Let me take a selfie. <laughs> oh, Look at this bitch in her contour <laughs> green skin. <laughs> but your eyebrows are so awfully. <laughs> do you watch YouTube do <laughs> Uh, oh my god, look at those shoes! Uh, <laughs> They're so sparkly! <laughs> I gotta have them! And the wizard turns out, oh my god, he's so pedo <laughs> Okay, but if you were to remake it, like I said, like with my characters, I would... Who would you have as the characters? Who would I have? As the characters. I can't even think, <laughs> so I can't. Maybe not make an 80s, like an 80s style Dorothy. An 80s style Dorothy? Yeah. Fuck. That'd be worse. <laughs> <laughs> Just big hair. <laughs> Shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think you have to have Reservoir Falls in like yeah, 19 maybe, fucking yeah, 50, Is it 50s? It's, it's around about that time. It's based more in the 30s, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. That's the one it was written, wasn't it? Written. Not written. Written. <laughs> written is uh, not a word. R-I-T-T-E-N. <laughs> Shut up. Um... um Hocus Pocus, you said to remake it. They're them. already doing that for the Disney Channel. But let's forget that, because you said it's the Disney Channel. Fuck that Yeah, shit. even if they weren't, I still don't think they should make a remake. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's a great fucking film. It's Leave it film. alone. It's a great film. Like, yeah, it's aged because, like, the way people are dressed in it and shit, but other than oh, that... Oh, yeah, but it's a great film. Other than the fact the way people dress in the film, it's still holds up today. That was, like... The thing, he was my first crush because of that film. Who? Uh, Horse Face. Hor oh, Sarah... Jessica Parker. Jessica Parker. That's the only film she looks good in. It's weird. Like, she still looks hot in that film, whereas you see her any other times. But that was like, she was my first crush because of that film. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Because I watched that film when I was like seven or eight. Oh, yeah. Like, it was really one of Yeah, it's just like, like film. still way attractive in it. Yeah. The cat was fucking hilarious. I know. What's I his name? The zombie on it. Sebastian? No. Is it? I think it might be. Is it Sebastian? Because I know his daughter or his sister dies in it. And then she's a ghost, and then he finds her. Yeah. Because he dies he, at the cabin. He gets run over. Yeah. Or something. Or not. No, he gets run over, and he comes back. Because you just oh, see, just, like... Just, 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 yeah. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> but then he gets kicked by one. Does he not get hit by, like, a spell and goes flying, but then he stays uh, dead? Maybe. And the sister starts crying. That's been a while since I watched it. Yeah. And then he goes off into the moonlight with his sister. <laughs> what else are you thinking of? Because fuck that Hocus Pocus idea. Fine. Matilda. Matilda. It's an odd thing I'd leave alone. Really? Yeah. Because, like, it would be hard to make that movie now because of everything that goes on in it. I think it would be really censored. Yeah. So, it would, like, the whole the choker and stuff, like, that shit's terrified kids back in the day. Never really or the choky, whatever it's called. Oh, the choky, yeah. Oh, yeah that I think it's called the choky. Yeah. people on. Like, I don't know. Or just by our ponytails. <coughs> yeah, you wouldn't get any of that shit nowadays. Like, nobody would film that sort of stuff now. For a kids' it's film, it's a shame though because it's such a great film. Yeah, it was a really good film, but Danny DeVito. I never realized until like I recently rewatched it with Michelle that Danny DeVito also does the voiceover. <laughs> yeah. And then at the very <laughs> end, did you did you hear the cop sirens? No. The, at the very end, when he signed in the papers to give her to Miss Honey, there's cop sirens going off in the background because they're uh -huh. after him, <laughs> and I never realized <laughs> it until I was watching. Very good. But I said, um, Matilda, the girl, the Asian girl from Modern Family, Aubrey Anderson, Emma's. Because I couldn't think of anyone else that kind of could fit into that role. Because I yeah. can't think of any really young actors. Like kid cause, actors. Because they're mainly probably on the Disney Channel, and I don't watch the Disney Channel yes, anymore. <laughs> and then Miss Hunting would be Amy Adams. Yeah, that would work. That would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, Amy Adams is a good actress. Yeah. So she's, and she's then, it's not there, but Blade. 
Blade. With Michael B. Jordan as Blade. See, I'd be interested to see that. Even though I really love Blade 1 and 2. Yeah, <coughs> but I, then Blade 3. Or no. Blade 3 tried yeah. to do shit. <laughs> the only thing, good thing about it was Ryan Reynolds. Uh, he was just Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, he was it? pretty much just Ryan. He was Deadpool. I know. <laughs> just without the four ball breaking. Because there are the two dogs, or the dog comes in that side, he's like, fuck me, and then the other dog comes in, he's like, fuck me sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I would be interested to see a Blade Runner because they did like a Blade TV series that had fucking like the rapper Sticky Fingers playing them. There's a rapper called Sticky Fingers? <laughs> yeah. The Sticky Bandits. <laughs> You're going to hate me, right? Time for my relaunches, which are ones I think should ca carry on from the original story. So Darren's going to completely disagree with all of these. Back to the Future. Tom Holland is Michael J. Fox's son. To be fair, is whenever you said that, I said that that wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Yeah. It was, but, no, but whenever you were saying Michael, or you were saying Tom Holland as Marty McFly. I was oh, like, whenever we no. were originally talking about it. That time, <laughs> yeah, I don't think maybe you shouldn't touch it. No. Maybe I reckon in continue maybe, on from a fine. I think a number another thirty years, they'll, someone will touch it. And then I'll complain. The, yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, we'll be like. I know. That's my child. Who's <laughs> your oh, It won't be that old, like, but no. <laughs> it will be like fifty. Yeah. But uh. Um, but yes, with Tom Holland and... So I it's like a vacation? Like, that was... Yeah. People thought it was really But I think you could still have Doc as Doc. Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Because he's actually that age now. Yeah. <laughs> so, he could probably work as... I don't, but I don't know how... I don't know the story. I can't think of a good story for it. I don't know what a good story would be, because the way they ended the original Act of Future kind of... It would have to be, like... I think what you'd have to do is, like... Michael J. Fox has been telling his kid all these stories, 30 years of yeah. what he's done, mm -hmm. and then maybe the kid comes across a DeLorean that was never just, like, another uh, DeLorean in Dr. Brown's, you know, like laboratory kind of, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Like, or even one that Marty might have built, you know, after. Possibly, because uh, I think he would know how to build one, I'd say. After. Would you have Michael J. Fox in it? Yeah. Even with all his unfortunate Parkinson's? <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that. Yeah, but um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I would. <laughs> I would have Michael J. Fox on it. Yeah. Yeah. Just then, like, like Chris Earl Lloyd on still, like, if you can. Yeah. Because he'd fucking do anything for me. Maybe money. something like Michael J. Fox gets taken back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> back to 1950. Oh, it? yeah. Or back to, like, his childhood. Uh, but so then, like, you would have to do the future from Back to the Future. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Would you? No, because, sure, um, this third one ended with the piece of paper being blank. What's that? You don't remember the third one ended with the piece of paper being blank? And she's like, Doc, what does this mean? Like, it means that your future's yours. You can do whatever you want. So... It wouldn't be so exactly. psychedelic. <laughs> I would say they would have to get Tom, Hol Tom Holland to dress up as in the like the future clothes uh, at some point, point. and it, like maybe he's trying on clothes and he's like, nah, <laughs> but maybe have like because this world is still kind of in a sense high tech. Yeah. It's kind of at that point, but you have to go further into yeah. the future or back to the fifties, and then he could run into yeah. old Michael J. Fox twice. Yeah, <laughs> or, or they could maybe point. add. Uh, they're at that point in life where they could add those scenes from the original movies. Maybe he goes back to the fifties, but then it goes back to the fifties from the second film, where both Michael J. Foxes are running. So there's two Michael J. Foxes twice. twice. Yeah, he could even run into him because he's not going to know it's his. Exactly. Kid. Yeah, it could work because it would be it would be like a fucking Back to the Future one thing where. Marty is around his parents the entire time, and then when he grows up, they don't look at him and go, Something's not right here. Mm -hmm. We know you. <laughs> You're that weird yeah. fucker that got us yeah. together. Um, his mom's staring at him going, Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> you like look like a boy brother. trying to kiss in the car. <clears throat> like That's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's like kissing my brother. Yeah. Oh, that was messed up. Should I just leave this one alone? Yes. Right. Don't right. touch it. Okay. Okay, I said without a paddle with the original cast. Without a paddle is like one of my favorite films. It's such it's a feel-good film. Good film. It's a great film series. You leave it alone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't touch it. So the one film that <laughs> I want to remake, or I would like to see remade, and most people probably wouldn't expect it from me, is The Crow. Yeah. Because, okay. yeah, it's my favorite film of time. It's a great fucking movie, but it's not a proper adaptation of the comic book. Yeah. Which I would like to see, because... In the original film, he's a musician. He gets chucked out a window and shit. 
and then it comes back a year later to avenge his fiance's death. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the comic book, he was a mechanic who was killed at the side of the road where he witnessed his girlfriend being beaten and raped and shit. I couldn't imagine raping someone on the side of a road. I don't know. <laughs> but then, like, it's... It's basic. Him and the crow have more going on. Like, in the movie, they kind of, like, see the same things. Like, the crow would go ahead, and he would see what the crow sees, you know. So in the movie? Blur, okay. Yeah. But it's a comic book, the crow would actually talk to him. Sadly. Oh, right, okay. Like, whenever he's dying... At the side of the road watching us, the crow's like, don't look at this boy, you know, look away, you don't yeah. need to see this, just go, you know, that sort of shit. Yeah. So he, he keeps can't. himself alive? Yeah, almost, he's, alive, he's alive and intense. His girlfriend dies at the side of the road after being beaten and thing, ripped, mm -hmm. and he's in intensive care for 38 hours or something, Yeah, which is reversed in the original film. She was suffering for 38 hours before she died in the hospital. Oh. He was dead instantly once they shot him and chucked him out the window. So he doesn't see what happened to his girlfriend and all? In and, the... Uh, he comes in. No, he does see it because they, like... Oh, it was already gone. happening whenever... Yeah, whenever okay. he comes in. Okay. <clears throat> but then the comic book's a lot gorier and stuff. You were saying that and before. he's more of a tragic character. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, he's still making jokes and shit, but there's a lot more going on yeah. in the comic, which I would like to see put to movie. Who would you have play him? I know. Um, I feel like um, Jared Leto. He would ruin it, Darren. I don't think you. I think if he had his sort of long hair, she had that beard he's got going on at the moment. I think it'd be quite a good fit. If he did it, just. But would the crew not be a Joker esque on? style character? Would, what do you mean? Would the crew, is the crew? Would you compare similarities to the Joker with the crew? No. No. Okay, that's no. okay because definitely not. He ruined the Joker. For me, yeah. <laughs> I think that whole movie ruined, ruined everything. The Joker more. <laughs> hmm? yeah. The writing ruined the Joker more, and he did, I think. So, yes, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. It's been a while for us. Darren's done, few, yeah, Darren's done a few videos by himself. <laughs> yeah, it's because they're easier to do. <laughs> yeah, is he trying to get time having children? Yeah, it's not it's easy. Too hard. <laughs> it's easier for Whereas me just to stand yeah. here by myself and get shit done. Thanks. It is easier. <laughs> no, no, I get it. I, plus, the things I talk about anyway, you wouldn't talk about. Sorry, I was way down here somewhere. Well, Sorry, yeah. Dick. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. Like you That's said. That's it. Like, like comment, comment, subscribe. subscribe. That was almost in sync. <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye. Jeez, <laughs> I can't get up. I'm fucking stuck.